Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me winning, you ain't like Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to a thousand likes. I would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. Hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. uploads every single day. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, Let's get straight into this video. So today we're gonna to talk about the glass cleaning slasher, okay? This is what I would say, something that's comparable to a Giannis build, right? A build that can literally dominate on the defensive end and can dominate around the basket. That is exactly what this build is gonna be able to do along with some playmaking ability and some shooting, okay? So we're gonna go 6'9 with this build. We're gonna go 240 pounds and we're gonna max the wingspan out to 7'7". Body type, I actually wanna go compact here, okay? compact kind of look more like Giannis all right then what we're going to do here is that we're going to max out the driving layup the driving dunk and the standing dunk okay then we're going to max out the mid-range shot the three-point shot and then go 69 on the free throw to get exactly 12 then we're going to go 79 on the pass accuracy max out the ball handle and the speed with ball then we're going to go 70 on the interior defense we're going to go 77 on the perimeter we're gonna go 91 on the block, and then we're gonna go 90 on the defensive rebound, and then we're gonna go 80 on the offensive rebound. Then we're gonna go max out the speed, max out the acceleration, we're gonna go 80 on the strength, and then we're gonna go 74 on the vert, and then we're gonna go 60 on the stamina, okay? So what you're looking at is 20, 12, 12, and 15, okay? so. Obviously, as you can tell just off rip, like I said, the build's gonna be able to finish tremendously around the basket. That's not gonna be an issue. 20 badges, finishing badge upgrades is ridiculous. You're also gonna be able to shoot well. Um, actually, you're gonna be able to shoot really well um, on the with this build. And then, of course, from the playmaking side of things, you're gonna have 12 badges to work with. Obviously, the ball handling, the speed with ball, um, it's going to be great good enough for a 6'9 build to where obviously with a 70 ball handle You're still able to dribble the ball pretty decently and that's where you know a lot of people um, Rock be honest with you a lot of people can you can separate really really skilled dribblers um, for the ones that are just okay um, If you know how to dribble with a 70 ball handle because 70 ball handle is also another breaking point A lot of people don't understand that yeah 80 ball handle is one but 70 is another where you can actually do dribble animations and not lose the ball so understand that 70 you can still dribble and if you know how to dribble with a 70 ball handle that's pretty good all right now you, again like i said on the defensive side you're going to be able to obviously rebound the ball well block the ball and then there's some versatility here be able to play the perimeter and the interior you can flip this if you want to have a 77 interior with a 70 but me i prefer to have as much lateral quickness as possible all right so again you do get a plus four to everything here so you're looking at a 99 driving dunk and standing dunk so again if you should be able to finish ridiculously around the basket there is no excuse all right um we have an 86 mid-range shot and then you also here we have an 82 three-point shot so you are below that 85 threshold so in order to green every single shot um you need to have an 85 or above with the proper base okay so um if you want me to drop a video on what actual bases have a true green window i can do that for you but i mean the popular bases that people are using right now obviously with like 98 um curry um what other you know other bases that people use those have really um true green window releases meaning if you're 85 or above you will be able to green your shot so um understand that um this right here is going to be below that now that doesn't mean you're not going to be the green consistently because you will with the 82 especially if you have so many team that has you know um um floor general okay or dimer that should be the assist um here you also have an 83 pass accuracy 74 ball handle and a 73 speed with ball 74 interior defense 81 perimeter and we do know that 81 perimeter defense also translates to your lateral quickness that's very important so an 81 lateral quickness is what you're going to have here a 95 block again that's going to give you hall of fame intimidator that's very important and then of course here an 84 offensive rebound and a 94 defensive rebound 79 speed 
uh, 75 acceleration, 84 strength, a 78 vert, and of course 64 stamina. All you really need is again, like I said, a 60 stamina if you're going to plan on dribbling. If you're not going to be a dribbler and just be, <clears throat> if you have a build that's basically going to be a spot up um, on offense, then you really can get away with just no stamina at all, which is pretty dope. Okay, so. Here you have some choices, but again, if we're gonna make something true to it, like a Giannis type build or just a build that can dominate, you do wanna go ahead and get the easy blow buys and then also go with the finishing moves. Now you could go with Limitless to spot up. Again, like I said, it's based upon your play style. You can use this build as a center and be a spot up. If you wanted to, you can go with the Limitless Range Threes or you can go with the spot up um, Precision. Or if you're somebody that's been playing center and you wanna get the rebounds and defense. I mean, there's so many options. That's why I love this game when it comes to just the bad setup because you can literally get so many different takeovers and again here you have my nephews and nieces the glass cleaning slasher right so now what we're going to do is this we're going to get this build to 99 all right go over the badges and then we will get you out of here so let's get the 99 real quick here you know the most important ones we want to go with you want to go at posterizer you want to go at rise up you want to go at heat seeker all right so these are the most important ones and then the next tier that we'll go with slithery finisher Acrobat, um, let's get Acrobat Hall of Fame actually. Um, and then where is, you could go with, um, oh, here it is, put back boss, all right? So this is what I would go with here, all right? And then for the shooting, of course we wanna go blinders, we wanna go deep threes, we wanna go hot zone hunter, um, rhythm shooter, or um, stop and pop as if you're gonna plan on dribbling. If not, then I'll go with catch and shoot, okay? As a spot up. Um, and then from the playmaking side, of course you wanna go bullet passer, that's important. Uh, you wanna go quick first step, that's important. Um, and then of course, you wanna get unpluckable. Let's go unpluckable here, and then let's get bell out. Bell out is so OP, man, y'all don't understand. Um, so for a build like this, you will probably wanna go there if you're not gonna be, like say, if you're a primary ball handler, you probably wanna go handles for days. I mean, like I said, I think this is more of a secondary ball handler. So, I mean, like, you know, you have fun with it. You have a center on you. Quick first step should be good enough. Handles for days. You're not going to be dribbling all over the place like that. So, I think this would be the best way. Ankle breaker, space crater. Yeah, that's nice to have. Downhill is nice to have also. Um, again, you, it's your choices. It's your build. You can do it any way you want to. We're going to go clamps, of course. We got to get intimidator. And then, of course, we want to get rim protector. These are the, like, most important badges off rip, all right? Then, of course, we can sprinkle in some other things here. Let's get Rebound Chaser here, and then we'll get Chase down on bronze, and then we will throw in, let's go Pogo Stick, even though it's nice to get Pogo Stick a little bit higher, but we'll just keep it, mm, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's just go here, all right? So then we'll do something similar to this right here with the 15. Um, but Hall of Fame Intimidate and Rim Protector, you got to have, hands down, all right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Those are the best badges on defense, okay? <clears throat> But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Glass Clean Slasher build. Hopefully, you appreciate this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say I'm back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.